opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and helps control the e4 square. This prepares the bishop for development. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Dxc4 opens up the center and captures the c4 pawn. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. That was a free pawn. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. This attacks a queen winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is a fair move. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. Very precise. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. This misses an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. This permits the opponent to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to take an outpost with a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to connect rooks. It is an inaccuracy. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. 
balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players.